Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here, welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. On the 5th of November, AMD had finally released their highly anticipated Ryzen 5000 series CPUs for the desktop. However, the release may not have gone as well as some people had hoped it would, and this was mainly due to the fact that when a lot of retailers had opened up their doors in the morning and websites were updated, well, partially that is, there unfortunately wasn't a lot of stock to go around. Now the situation here isn't nearly as bad as what had happened with the RTX 30 series, and Nvidia is in fact still having supply issues till this day, as I've heard from several people who had placed orders on launch day that they've yet to receive their orders, which is crazy considering we're almost nearing that 2 month mark since the release of the 3080. Now with AMD, they of course had a lot more supply for these Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, however the demand definitely far exceeded the supply, so you're still going to run into the same situation where they'll get sold out almost instantly, and then leave a lot of people with no CPUs to buy, thus you have frustrated customers. That's essentially what had happened here across multiple retailers, whether that was a physical brick and mortar lo location or online. Oh, and of course you also have your usual scalpers and bots who also contributed in diminishing stock for actual customers. Now, from what I had heard in the US, a lot of micro center locations did receive a decent amount of supply for these Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, where it was reported multiple locations had several in stock. However, the majority of the stock was mainly for the Ryzen 5 5600X and Ryzen 7 5800X CPUs, as they're more easier to manufacture, whereas stock for the Ryzen 9 CPUs, those being the 5900X and 5950X, were a lot harder to come by. Inventory quantity varied depending on which location you went to, some stores had none, some had quantity in the single digits, and if they had more than that then it was probably around 20 to 30. At least in the US though, buyers over there had multiple retailers to go to whether it was a store like Micro Center or an online retailer like Newegg or Amazon. At 9am Eastern, AMD also had their storefront open where you could go and directly buy the CPU from them, similar to what Nvidia did for their Founders Edition models. The good thing was that I hadn't seen any reports of websites crashing or anything like that. Unfortunately though, the situation here in Canada was a lot more dire. I mean, at this point it's pretty much the norm that Canada always gets screwed on new hardware releases, whether that has to do with supply issues and pricing. Unfortunately, it is what it is and we just gotta put up with it. Now, around 12am on the 5th of November, I was highly debating with myself if I should go to my local Canada computers to pick up a 5900X. I really did want to get this chip and was afraid supply would be extremely low, so I wanted to secure one for myself rather rather than having to wait a few days or weeks. Though I decided I wouldn't as I honestly wasn't feeling all that well at the time and had a bit of a headache so I decided I'd get some much needed sleep and go later on in the morning. So at around 6.30am I woke up, got in my car and drove down to my local Canon computers. With how much hype there was surrounding the RTX 30 series and seeing as how people had camped out of stores the night before release, I was anticipating there to be a long lineup of people. Surprisingly though, when I had arrived, there were only about 6 other people who had lined up before me and when I had talked to the first person in line, they had said they only started to line up at around 2am. Honestly, I was a bit baffled to hear that, I expected there to be a lot more people who would have lined up earlier than that. This would end up working out in my favor though, sort of. This particular location I went to would only open its doors at around 10am, so there was still plenty of time until then. And as the hours went by, more and more people started to show up, and the line definitely got pretty long. However, at 9am, a lot of us in line decided to check out New Ag Canada to see if we could maybe snipe a processor on our phones online. Unfortunately, what ended up happening was that as soon as 9am struck, the processors instantly sold out. Well, I don't even know if Newegg Canada even had any 5950s or 5900Xs in stock, where as soon as we refreshed the pages, they were gone. It also didn't help that the night before, Newegg's official Twitter account recommended to use their app, for which I did, and that only ended up screwing people more because the 5000 series weren't even listed on there until later. And at that point, it was already too late, so that was a bit annoying. And like I had mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure there were a lot of bots and scalpers who were playing a role there as well. Now, once the manager had arrived to open up the doors, they had also informed everyone on the amount of stock available for each Ryzen 5000 part at this location, where they only had one 5950X, one 5900X, and I believe they had 12 5800Xs and like 8 or 9 5600Xs. 
And just checking Canon Computer's website that morning, once the parts were listed on there, that seemed to be the case for multiple locations. Actually, many locations didn't even have the Ryzen 9s in stock, so that sucked. So as the managers started to hand out the vouchers to people, obviously the 5950X and 5900X were immediately gone in the first couple of spots. And that meant all that was left were the 5800Xs and 5600Xs. I was thinking about maybe just picking up the 5800X, but ended up talking myself out of it as I didn't want to downgrade over my 3900X in any way because I still wanted to retain 12 cores at least for my editing rig. Luckily though, as I had mentioned being the 7th person in line, I was the second person to be put on their back order list for a 5900X. So I am hoping when they receive their next batch, which is relatively soon, I'll be among the first to get their order fulfilled. With that said, I was still a bit disappointed to see how little stock we had here in Canada for the 5000 series, and especially the 5900X and 5950X. While there were a lot more people who were able to get the Ryzen 5000 parts on launch day as opposed to the RTX 30 series, there were still many people in line who unfortunately weren't able to get one and either had to wait it out, put themselves on a back order, or try their luck elsewhere. Quite a peculiar situation as I don't recall supply being that bad for the Ryzen 3000 series. There were plenty of 3600Xs, 3600s, 3700Xs, 3800Xs to go around. I do recall that after the initial batch of 3900Xs came into stock, the amount it took to replenish the Ryzen 9 parts did take a while, however initially there were a decent amount of 3900Xs to begin with. It wasn't like there was just one at a few amount of stores. While in line, I was also checking Amazon Canada at the same time, and they never actually got any Ryzen 5000 parts to begin with. Not a single part, whether that was a 5600X or 5900X, it doesn't matter. Even till this day, they haven't ever had any of the parts come into stock, and actually, they don't even have any ETA on them, which is also weird considering how Amazon in the US and other parts of the world did have stock on release date. Even if it wasn't a lot initially, at least they had some in stock. It's just another one of those cases where for PC parts, Amazon doesn't prioritize Canada for new hardware releases and I just don't understand why. One of the other things I didn't like was just how much Canadian retailers were charging over MSRP. With the 5900X announced at $549 US dollars, that converts to approximately $715 Canadian dollars at the time of this recording. However, New Egg Canada had their 5900X listed for $799, which is about $84 above MSRP. Then Memory Express listed their parts at $759, which isn't as bad, but still a considerable increase. And Canada Computers, when I had placed my order, still had theirs listed at $729, which was the lowest among all the Canadian retailers and closest to MSRP. But for some reason, a day after, they bumped up the price to $759. I guess they saw the crazy demand for it and saw what other retailers were doing and, you know, decided to hop on the bandwagon. And this wasn't just the case for the 5900 x but for all various ryzen 5000 parts so not only do we have to deal with low availability but we also get higher prices yay now circling back to the whole stock situation it's pretty obvious why the 5600x and 5800x had more supply to go around relative to the ryzen 9s it's because they're more easier to manufacture you see with the ryzen 3000 and 5000 design they're using a chiplet design where the io die is a 12 nanometer chip fabbed at global foundries and the actual zen 2 and zen 3 core dies are fabbed on tsmc's 7 nanometer process each ccd has up to eight cores in them so for a part such as the ryzen 7 5800 x you only need one of these eight core complex dies plus the io die and for the 5600x you only need one six core complex die whereas for the ryzen 9 cpus you need two core complex dies whether that's two six core dies or two eight core dies for the 5900x or 5950x respectively making it a bit harder and more complex to manufacture so hence you have lower stock Along with that, since those uh, Ryzen 9 CPUs are listed with the highest boost clocks, they need to bend the dies accordingly, so they need the highest quality level of silicon, and uh, it's probably taking a while for them to uh, have a bit of supply for that. Now, each one of the core complex dies is only about 74 mm square, which is quite small and shouldn't be too hard to manufacture on a 7 nanometer wafer. And also do keep in mind that this is the same 7 nanometer TSMC process AMD are using for what was used with the Ryzen 3000 series back in 2019. So the process has definitely gotten some time to mature and 
as you have process maturity, your defect density should also decrease, which should lead to much better yields, therefore boosting your production capacity. Taking all that into account, I'm not too concerned about low initial stock because unlike Nvidia, AMD should be able to replenish their stock faster and you guys should see stock for these CPUs gradually coming in at various retailers. That makes me hopeful that my 5900X shouldn't take too long to fulfill. However, we also can't forget that right now we're going through a uh, global pandemic and that could make things challenging. With many companies and manufacturing plants operating at limited capacity, and not only that, but logistics has taken quite a big of a hit as well. So there's a lot more obstructions we're dealing with. Had there not been a pandemic and we were dealing with normal conditions, then I feel like we would have a lot more stock to begin with. And actually, we might have even seen AMD announce these processors early in the year had Computex still happened. But... Who knows, I just don't think that people will have to wait too long to see stock come back for the processors and if you have a back order place then I think you can be hopeful for it to be fulfilled relatively soon. So that'll do it for this video, I just wanted to share my experience of what it was like trying to buy one of these Ryzen 5000 parts on launch day and uh, give my thoughts on the whole situation as I did see quite a bit of panic online and lots of people expressing their concern for how low supply was for this release. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.